Stormy Cloud 21 here again. Today we're going to take a look at this beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series, Centrosaurus apertus. This is a 1 18th scale dinosaur action figure, and there are many more in this collection. There's a wave one, a wave two, and a wave three. Here is a dinosaur footprint. Wow, look at that. And this thing is very, very large and hence heavy, very heavy as well. Look at the, the artwork. That alone could make you wanna buy this whole thing. Centrosaurus a purchase again. Beast of the Mesozoic. See the reflective colors on there with the red. That is so cool. Flipping the box over on the side, you can see here a Triceratops. And then going on the back of the box, and I'm going to be taking this off, but I'm going to be looking at that checklist that you have here. Um, right here though, some information on what Centrosaurus apertus means. Pointed lizard, heads, and this dinosaur is very similar to like the Monoclonius. So was the Monoclonius the Centrosaurus? Well, I don't know. A lot of people, I don't know. Maybe they don't know yet. So there's some similarities there, but this is an adult and this has a length of up to six meters or 19.7 feet long found in Dinosaur Park Formation, Alberta, Canada. Centrosaurus was a herd animal, as is evidenced by the vast bone beds that have been found. Because of this, it is one of the most researched dinosaurs and is one of the few Ceratopsian species with fossilized skin impressions. Very cool stuff. Art by Jax Jackson and Carlo Arellano. Very cool. And so I'm going to uh, flip the box over this way. See here, there are 20 points of articulation, realistic movement and detail, and a profile card included. This is number 17. So underneath the box, the design, the sculpt, and the paint by David Silva. Additional paint, Matt Holt and Karen Wardo. Prototypes, Jeremy Mons. Join the dinosaur toy revolution. Check out creativebeast.com for more products and info. Here is the UPC for this item. C2021 David Silva Creative Beast Studio LLC. Cannot wait to pull this out of the packaging. Look at how the light just hits that. Oh, so beautiful. Light just flashing around on that. Cannot wait. First, I'm gonna take this sleeve off, show you the back of the box and the uh, checklist. Then we will open up the dinosaur and take a look. Okay, so now I'm pulling off the sleeve. It's always sad when I take the sleeve off. I just, oh, it just looks so cool on the box. Like the tape holds it on there and now it's, it's loose. It'll slide back and forth, but it's so cool. You can still put it back on there, but just always the moment before you cut that seal. That, oh yes. This, oh, some of my most favorite colors in the entire world, especially this one, teal, like teal is, this color is like my favorite color of all time. So I just love the packaging design, just sucks me in, man. So here you go, here's the back of the box. Ceratopsian wave two checklist. Windoceratops, Spiclapius, or Spiclapius, I meant. Uh, Centrosaurus, Anosaurus, Cosmoceratops, which we just looked at today as well. Pachyrhinosaurus, Avaceratops, and Regoloceratops. Wow, each sold separately. Man, alive. There's only two on this box that I still lack. Maybe I can get them in the future. Okay, so let 
Let's open this up and check out this amazing creature. Uh, this reminds me of uh, Phil Tippett when you had the uh, Monoclonius walking through the woods and the T-Rex was uh, sneaking up on it. Remember that way back in the 1980s? Oh yeah, good stuff. So look at this, man. And this is heavy. I hope I can get the tail on because man, it may take some work. Dip the tail in tail hole in hot water uh, or heat with a hair dryer for 20 seconds. Attach the tail ball joint on the figure. Do not force stiff joints. Apply low heat and allow movement. Do not because you're gonna break it, buddy. Whoa, hello there. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so gorgeous. It's just like taking a walk through the swamp. Look at the mud. Oh man, that is beautiful. Whew, where the orange and the yellow meets the uh, the blues and the teal. Oh, oh, in the yellow. Oh, the gorgeous colors. And then here on the back, we have this right here. Centrosaurus apertus, pointed lizard. All that information again. Look here, it's named by Lawrence Lamb in Lamb in 1904. Let's begin to zoom out and we are going to remove all this off the dinosaur and attach the tail and talk about it up close and personal. Okay, so look at this background, man. And it's starting to fall over. But look at this. This is like a lake and you can see down in the water, under the water. Oh man, a reflection of my ring light, but that's okay. Whoa, and then there's like mountainous peaks up there. It trakes around. Ooh, such a beautiful, beautiful background. So I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit more. Okay. Now, the big kahuna. This thing, this is legit, man. So here it is. Centrosaurus, Apertus, waiting a long time, years for this, years for this moment. So you're opening up the uh, the jaw, and uh, this is cool. There's a, actually there's an articulating tongue in there. This tongue will actually go up and down um, on this particular dinosaur, um, which is very cool. Uh, you have to give it this time to, uh, get the jaw adjusted. It's gonna, you know, see how open it'll, see how wide it will open and close because, uh, been in this box for so long, it needs time. So looking at this dinosaur, look at the, this horn jutting out. And we got some brow horns. Um, man, yellow eye. Black pupil appears to be, or maybe brown, probably black. Um, look at the brown and the, and the white. That's brown right there on the edges and the white cream. I say that's white. Um, look at these on the frill. And these are tough. They're not just gonna snap. These are, these are rubbery and tough. So they're gonna be all just all right and fine. Look at this, such a gorgeous beast. Um, it's got this big neck here, and this isn't broken yet, so it's going to take a while for these pieces to really move around. But you can move the, the head around already, it's up and down eventually more. Um, you've got some articulation right here, okay? And then you've got some articulation right there, but it needs to have time to adjust and then you have articulation here and then forward and and back. Look at that, even detail underneath. 
on the belly. Oh, look at that belly. All that under there, under the front legs, and then here's the back, the back leg, and uh, this side. Okay, you can bend the knee. Press me, you can, but um, you need time. Rotate this, and then you can rotate this and move this forward and back and swivels. Okay. I uh, always gotta give it time when you're doing this because you you don't, you know, it needs time to loosen up um, before you get real crazy with these, uh, these joints. Uh, oh, wow. So looking underneath the dinosaur, you can even see there's a peg hole there. Okay, there's a peg hole. And uh, over here, flipping it around, Creative Beast Studio 2021. Oh yeah, look at all the osteoderms. I love this color and this color together. Oh, that is, wow. It's, this is just one of the most beautifully painted of the Ceratopsian figures in the whole collection. It just really is um, mind-blowing, awesomely painted. It just sucks you in and makes you want more. Uh, look at the nostril. See that nostril? Oh, man. And yeah, um, that leg is really nice and loose. They also have torso. Um, ability to move the torso around. Gotta get broke in though, again. And then before you get crazy. Here it says, let's see, PH1 or I. And then this is not budging. This is locked into the wall of that. So I was able to move it from the side wall. Man, that was really hard. Now here's the ball joint that that um, tail is going to go on to and articulate, which you should put in hot water um, before assembly to make things a lot better for you. Okay, so now I'm dipping the tail in very hot, warm water, which is hot as warm. So by golly, that did the trick. I put the uh, tail in the really hot, warm water. Actually, maybe even a little over 20 seconds in the uh, coffee cup. And uh, it was hard to get on, but it was a lot better than trying it without the water, that's for sure. I soaked it in there, then I tapped it, got the uh, water out, dried it off uh, out of the inside and po popped it on. And now I love the, the blue right there and that cream colored stripe that goes all the way from there on the neck, all the way, man, all the way back. This is just amazing. Look at the, the osteoderms. And this is like a brown color right there. Oh man, this is, this is one of the most beautiful ones yet. And it's very large and very heavy in uh, weight. So there I have it with the uh, the background there. And uh, it just fits in beautifully, doesn't it? Also, I don't wanna forget to look behind the, uh, the frill there. If you wanted to know, there you go. So definitely a very large Ceratopsian dinosaur, very big in size, very nice to have. So perhaps you remember the uh, dinosaur that we looked at right before this, Cosmo Ceratops. And Centrosaurus Apertus just towers over it, beautiful. So let's also take a look from the front, Whew. here's the top view, as well as again, the bottom view.
you a very absolutely amazing, gorgeous, beautiful Ceratopsian dinosaur. So this is Stormy Cloud 21. I want to thank you for watching this review. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. See more cool stuff coming up soon. Remember to check out my Instagram, Velociraptor Hunter, as well as this channel, Stormy Cloud 21 again. And hit the notification bell to be notified when there will be new videos up and coming or posts like reels and photos on my Instagram. Thank you for watching and talk soon.